Hello everybody, I am Dr. Siddharth Mishra and I would like to present to you Dr. Anthony Marie. Uh, we live in Barcelona, I have lived in uh, Gurgaon till 2010 and let, let, later I moved to Barcelona for studying masters and working. I did my masters in oral medicine surgery and implantology from University of Barcelona and I have stayed as a professor at the same master and working at the same hospital. Dr. Murray, he is going to present himself. Uh, hi everyone, I am in the head department on oral maxillofacial surgery at the Hospital de Belviche in Barcelona. Uh, we are in a hospital, in a big hospital that uh, attends uh, 2 million people and our specialty we are focused on, on treating oral cancer basically as I can see here it is also a common problem here. Well I think cancer is a global problem now. And it's, uh, it's a global problem, it's a global problem in, in India but in Spain also and particularly in our hospital it is also a big problem because the socio-economic status of our population is very low and patients don't look after the, their oral hygiene and, and they smoke a lot and they drink a lot so this is the main cause of oral cancer uh, so we are used to treat a lot of patients uh, with big tumors, stage 4 tumors. Well, in India we also have a high consumption of tobacco, but the tobacco that we have here is one of the chew type. Yeah. So, I think the repercussions are most on the, I think it's more on the soft tissue scale. Yeah. Now you've been to University of India and uh, what do you think about the infrastructure, the system? I've been, I've been surprised about the infrastructure of, uh, you have here, the facilities you have here and the, the stuff you have here. I think uh, we have all uh, had an agreement about uh, many items of our speciality, so I'm very surprised and I'm very, very keen of, uh, of, of how we uh, have been uh, received here. And uh, how would you explain that the, to be able to study maxillofacial surgery in India, how do you proceed about studying these things? In India, we have a system different to that in European countries. Yeah. How would you suggest? How would you think? How would you explain the process in uh, I think, European uh, countries? Yeah, I think uh, make the, the oral maxillofacial surgery is a complicated speciality. I mean, uh, I can speak about the European situation, and there are two branches. Uh, one uh, is the double degree that is basically focused in Germany, Austria, and, and England. Uh, then there is uh, just one degree. Uh, the medical degree in Spain, France and Italy and then there is only one degree, the dental degree in the Scandinavian countries. So there is a, a, a mixture of different ways to approach this speciality that has to be uh, put together. Uh, the, the most important services in maxillofacial surgery in Europe are in Germany and Germany is uh, double degree, I mean DDS and MD and then uh, five years of speciality. So it takes a long time to, to, to become a, a, a maxillofacial surgeon. But I think the double degree uh, is necessary. We have to find a way to mix dental and medical degree, not to go for such a long period of time. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. If you study a lot, you sort of, sometimes people might lose faith and sometimes, but. I think if once you get out, it's worth what you've studied. Yeah, for sure. Every knowledge you can get for uh, every specialty. I mean, we we go, we spend one year at the general surgery department. So uh, initially, you don't think this is worthwhile, but in the end, you realize that all the knowledge you can keep for the general surgeon for the the trauma surgeons, for the neurosurgeons, for the vascular surgeon, it is important because you one day you will need this, the skills. So you, you see, it's, it's very important to gather a lot of knowledge to, be pre to prepare yourself for the future when you have the main part of challenges when you face in your professional life. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in India, we have a different system. In India, you have to study dentistry for five years and then you choose your area of specialty. Yeah. You want to study periodontics, you want to study there are like nine different branches of masters that you can do here and there are a lot of universities. 
uh, we do have a lot of patients, but I think we lack a lot of surgeons in yeah. general, yeah. oral and maxillofacial and general as well. What I what I have seen the, the these days we've spent here is there is a short shortage of surgeons who right. to treat oral cancer, no, and this is this is frightened me, no, because uh, I think uh, oral and maxillofacial should uh, take part on on the treatment and and. All oral maxillofacial surgeons in England, in, in, in India, should be uh, uh, dedicated to treat oral cancer, no? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think there is a, a, a long run, a long way to do the, this, no? Yeah, and I think most of oral maxillofacial surgeons in, in India would agree with your opinion, yeah. that they should form a part of the yeah, oncology yeah, team. Yeah, sure, for sure. Because they are really, really in touch with the oral and maxillofacial yeah, yeah. tissues. Yeah. And what do you think about the, the cancer patients that you have in India? Do you think it's uh, very difficult, very different to the scenario that you have in Spain? <laughs> well, uh, in, in, my, in my country, especially in my region, 60% uh, of our patients are in a stage 4. I mean, these are the, the last you, stage. It's you're, the, you're talking more when the patient comes to you? It, yeah. 60% yeah. of the patients are in the stage 4. And uh, what I learned here is... Uh, these figures are similar here, but for the cases I saw, uh, I think they are bigger than, than our cases because people don't take care of themselves. Yeah. So it is important just to, I think, uh, to start a public uh, health, system. Uh, health system or uh, systems where you can find these patients in early stages. Is is the way to cure a patient. I mean, if you treat a patient in the stage four, the probability or the to save uh, his or her life it's 20 percent at five years 20 30 percent so you have to uh, to do a systematic exploration of, of these patients risk uh, patients and just to uh, to find people in, in in the stage one and stage two this is the main solution for treating cancer i mean prevention i think the problem here is because there's a lot of so-called alternative, alternative therapy that yeah. people tend to go to before going for definitive treatment. Yeah. And some of the complications which occur because of lack of treatment and wrong treatment in such cases have resulted in a higher morbidity. And one, one problem we have with oral cancer, at initially those cancers don't uh, cause pain. So people think I have a lump in my, in my mouth uh, so mm, nothing happens mm, because this of will heal but don't heal at all. Yeah. So I uh, start growing, growing and growing, and when these lesions reach a, a certain uh, size, they start to provoke a pain and destroying the, the, the or affecting so then, the mandible mm -hmm. or affecting uh, vital organs. So uh, this, is a, this is a shame, this is a shame. Yeah, it is, it is actually. Well, I think you have to come to India more often to teach people about these things. <laughs> the importance no, of I, th I don't have to teach uh, here because the, the, the people, the maxillofacial surgeons I met here are uh, uh, as prepared as we are. And, and I have seen uh, surgeries, uh, es exquisite uh, surgeries here. So I, I think I have to come here <laughs> to see this, how the, the oral maxillofacial surgeons treat cases here because I am very impressed. And I, I, I knew some of this work they are doing because in the international uh, conference and symposium, I saw uh, cases and how they treated and I was uh, very, very uh, surprised. So I think I, what I have to do is to come here to learn, not <laughs> to explain. Well, India is also very famous for tourism. So even if you come only for academic purposes, you can all, always do tourism. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's, it's, <laughs> It's the two things, no? I think uh, you, you, we can't combine this. Yeah. So yeah. another another point is, uh, and you are working on on this. It's about the rehabilitation of of patients after treatment. Yeah. Because as you know, many patients go through surgery, goes through chemo, goes through chemo uh, radiotherapy, and the, those patients suffer a lot. The oral yeah. problems are... Uh, to, mm. Exactly, but, but what we have to keep into account, the motivation of the patient and try to focus that they do not get more demotivated because of cancer. Yeah. And this makes our job easier before, during and after cancer treatment. So before and during our cancer treatment, the treatment is morely prophylactic. So we have to remove all the tissues which might cause, uh, based on our criteria, based on the scientific literature. 
on how to prevent these problems and how to think ahead forward yeah. exactly that, yeah. uh, that's why we have a very good big circuit in uh, university of barcelona when they have a patient who is probably has cancer they do their initial diagnosis and everything they send the patient to us for an oral evaluation and treatment before they start cancer treatment so we have a very big circuit there which is which works around the clock i think we have and he's a professor in the in the same masters as well so we always are in touch with him to find out yeah. what do we do in this case yeah. and yeah. what because, do we have because because of my double degree i am very concerned about this this problem and people should be treated uh, as you said uh, uh, before and after and, and in between also exactly exactly you know, and the problems that those radical treatments cause to patients are uh, very big exactly so to cope with this it's the the, the dentist uh, have to to have put their the hand there just to aid those those patients to 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 return to normal life to just mm. to to, to it's, eat something yeah, it's, it's like it's not just the treatment of the cancer now it's about rehabilitation and improving the quality of life of such patients yeah sure sure i think i think we'll we'll keep working on that and keep improving we, we keep have, learning we well. have a, a big uh, a big problem that we have we will have to face together i mean dentists oral maxillofacial surgeons and and all the specialties i mean the the the, the therapists the physiotherapists and the speech therapists the speech therapies and all these things are, yeah. the thing what is important is to treat those cancer patients in a multidisciplinary team it's what is uh, the most i think the most important thing just one surgeon can can cope with all the problems a patient uh, will, will, will have through the process of treating these patients. So the aid of a specialized nurse, the aid of the dentist, the aid of the speech therapist, the physiotherapist for, for, for uh, shoulder problems when we do neck dissections. Yeah. So that too many problems that the patient has, has to go through that, that it is important to, to take their hand, their, their hand and, and just like accompany those patients in, and, and in the, the long journey that the is cancer journey. yeah 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 and psychiatrists too because and, and and another another thing i want to 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 stress or to point is those patients in 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 i don't know here but uh, the the tobacco uh, causes damage to all the uh, yeah it does it does to all the 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 mucosa from from the mouth to the lungs Exactly, and in our so case, those, it's the digestive yeah, system yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those patients are at risk of having second, second tumors. Yeah. So I mean, it's terrific when you have a patient that have gone through this, and five or ten years later, they have another tumor related to uh, SCC, squamous cell carcinoma. No. So you have to keep on, uh, uh, keep an eye on these patients because they are at high risk of, of having another uh, second second primary so prevention of tobacco yeah. consumption is also a very important yeah, yeah part. sure sure sure, sure. The toxic habits yeah. alcohol and yeah. all these things well i think this is about it thank you so much dr marie it has been a pleasure to be here with you and i have learned a lot and it's my pleasure and i congratulate uh, you for for the big uh, work you are doing here thank you so much thank you so much well and thank you everybody for listening to us and uh, Hope we got something out of the conversation. Thank you very much.